by Jay to center. Holiday fly to deep center. And he's out. How about that? Helton faked him out. The old veteran acted like he threw it back to the pitcher, kept it in his back pocket. Carpenter was off the bag and he tagged him. Take a look here. Uh oh. Asbury drills this one to right. Bautista's on the run and makes the catch. Frazier was halfway between second and third, and Bautista's made two fine defensive plays here this inning. Got to put a star next to that one. That saves a run. Let's see what happened. He's off. The hidden ball the trick. The hidden ball trick. He lifts up his foot, shuffles his feet, and lost contact, and Goins had the ball on Frazier. 200, excuse me, 231 against Brothers. Huge jump, and now they got Altuve hung up. Good block by Rosario. And a good feed to Brothers, and Brothers will tag out Altuve. Well, for those in the stands to say, oh, that never works when the runner takes off the second and a first and third, bluffing the throw just worked on Altuve. Now that's why you practice it. Houston takes the lead, three to two. In the left field, round third going to hold him there. Cabrera up with the ball. And the Diamondbacks have the tying run 90 feet away with one out in the eighth inning. And yet another pinch hit by the guy they used to call Tony the Tiger. So right now, Todd Jones would love to get a ground ball. It's Council in the leadoff spot who comes to the plate. Well, I don't know if it would be as big for Fred Council. They try to. Did they get it? They tried the hidden ball trick, and I and I think they may have gotten the runner at third base, Luis Torero. Torero's out at third base. Mike Lowell had the ball. Todd Jones was not on the mound. You can't be standing on the mound in that hidden ball trick. Now Bob Melvin's going to come out. There it is, right there. It's another step. He's off. He goes. No throw. Why? Throws it down to third. Husky dugout pointing to the backstop. Oh, and look nice at that. play. <laughs> look at that. Well executed by the Huskies. They uh. just duked the Winona runner. Jared Anderson <laughs> fell for it. Joey Altoff behind the plate ran back looking for the ball, and Jared Anderson takes off from second. Little did he know that he was going to get tagged out at third. In the air to center. Inciarte, he's got it. He tries to deke the runner. The throw is going to beat it. How about the footwork by Freddie Freeman? That was a great job by Enciarte to lure him a little bit farther off the bag, but Freddie was not on the base and blindly did a nice shift to get his foot on the bag and take the throw. I'm sure aware of the concept. High center field. Will Myers under looking into the sun. Runner tags. Run scores. Andre Ethier makes it five to nothing. Now they sacrifice fly RBI. Thirty-nine. Well, you see, Loney has the ball, and he's right above the pitcher's mound. There you see James Loney right there. Okay, now he's got it. Uribe over here on the left. He's got his head down. Now Escobar has the ball. He throws it over to Longoria. So now the ball's over at third base. Longoria has it. Nobody knows Uribe, third base coach. Nobody's aware that Longoria has it. Uribe steps off. Boom. Your, your matchup there when you have such a good hitter. Oh, they're trying to do a fake pickoff. And they got him. They got him, but no one's there. It's second to cover. Wow. In time. They do pick off Gartman from second base. I can't believe that just worked. That's the old Wichita pickoff, Travis, that many teams have in the repertoire, but you very seldom see it used. And uh, boy, South Haven executed that to perfection. Middle infielders there running towards the outfield, pointing at the baseball that's not there. Short still got the baseball. 
And there we cut the runner down at second. Great job, great call by Coach Rich right there. And it worked. I haven't seen a sign yet, have you? I don't know, unless the mustache is the <laughs> steel. Might be. Ball is thrown away. Down into the, oh, now they've cut it off and Stevenson is gonna be out. How about that for a decoy play? Fool everybody in the ballpark, I, including I'll tell you us. What, that is an outstanding play. <laughs> Look at this now. Watch these guys come out of the dugout. This is one of the better plays you'll see. Look at that decoy. See those two guys? That isn't by accident. They're all looking there. And there's Rona. He gets the ball from Casper Zach, and it's an easy out. And the throw was never even made. No, the pitcher was, had the ball the entire time. He stepped time. off the back of the mound <laughs> and faked the throw. And that brings Dick Williams out of the dugout for one of his frequent strategy sessions. Raleigh Fingers reveals the substance of the discussion. He pointed to the on-deck circle, he pointed to first base as if we were, we were going to walk him and he told me we were going to uh, have Gino stand up and uh, it looked like it was going to be an intentional walk and then Gino would jump back down to the catcher's box and uh, we pitched to him. Uh, Williams, he wanted me to throw a break and pitch and he specifically said throw a slider and not a fastball. We threw a slider on the outside part of the plate for a call strike three. Let off the inning with a walk, he's at third. Marvin Bernard, a pinch hitter, also walked. He's at second. One out. And Tony Pena came back and he signaled four to Lurie. He, he bluffed him. Strike three call.